Hey, how's it going everyone? This is uh, Carlos here with um, Backyard Diesels. I wanted to share the insights, my thoughts, you know, with the Chevy commercials they've been doing. Um, this, this is just my personal opinion, just what I think. I'm not trying to hound nobody. Um, you know, I don't worked on pretty much the three manufacturers that pretty much stick to it. Ford, Chevy, Dodge, Cummins, Power Strokes, and Duramax. But just one of the things, my very first time I saw that commercial, uh, sounds iffy. Um, well, anyways, this is uh, work. We're working on that. That's a L Y Duramax. But um, let me see if I can do switch this thing around. Let's switch this. Let me just show y'all. This video is not very long. I know everyone's seen this video um, let's just go on here real quick make that a little bit bigger I don't know if you guys can see that see how many people different people it is is on there this thing all the way up well Let's take a closer look at these videos or commercials they've been doing. This competitor's truck. We're going to drop some blocks into the beds and see how they hold up. Well, let's head over here and grab some safety gear. At least they put on their safety gear in a sense. But one thing, they have those open cab on those bobcats they're dumping those rocks on. So, let's stop that right there just for a second. Like really, bro, if if you drop something like that, if you're an operator and I come and get a haul and you drop something like that, you better be a good uh, Bobcat operator because you better know how to back that thing up real quick because I don't care what it is, dump truck or whatever, whatever truck I'm driving, that's just something stupid that they do. Nobody in their right mind would drop, uh, I don't know how many tons is that, just guessing, two, three t tons, I'm guessing, I don't know. So, I'm an operator as well. I've operated all types of machinery. Not once have I ever done anything stupid like that. So, there they are cleaning up again. See, that's different people. Those are some other people. Look, there's some other people. That's amazing how they... I know they didn't bring in three trucks. Look at another thing. See, that's... That's the same hole. Check it out in the center. Dead center. Right there, center. 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 It's pretty much the same hole. Right there. See it? Center. And see, look at this guy. See, that's somebody else. That guy says Ford needs to change their model. Bro, you probably drive a minivan. You can't trust it. Really? Who's going to trust them doing something stupid? That guy probably needs to easy down on them cheeseburgers too. Okay, let's stop right there. I'll let it roll. I'll show you guys here aftermath. Look how he tosses that kind of like little push behind it. Which that's okay, you know, we probably done that, just set things around in there. So, so that's amazing how they did all all those takes and it's the same hole on all those people different uh takes um different screenshots i don't have the type of funding them people have in different camera angles okay can you see that real well <clears throat> so let's take a okay that's fine See, that dude, oh shoot, I messed up. That dude said I would never buy a Ford truck, bro, really? That dude probably drives one of them uh, Hondas, the ones that, you know, they're like, man, man, and, and like they pass by, like, you know, they're super loud, and they're passing by doing like five miles an hour. I believe that dude be driving time by, he would never buy a Ford truck. Bro, you probably never owned a truck. So anyways. 
Chevy Bug. That's fine, man. They're awesome trucks. A little tiny bit of work broke the fourth back today. We can do one more test here. I can drop my keys. Yeah, dude, drop your keys and be smarter. Um, probably need to drop that gram and um, direct these people a little bit straighter and be honest. Do some tests in real life. I'm gonna take my toolbox right here. You know, it's got regular screwdrivers, Allen wrenches and stuff on there. Who in their right mind would take a toolbox, bro, really? And set it on an angle. Here we are. This is a Duramax. We're doing some top end work on it. Really? Who would set the toolbox there? You see? That's the, like really stupid. And while I go do something else, I might drop this damn thing. It might hit my toe or something no mechanics wear steel toes Ugh. that's what the tailgates are made for bro simple you really want to hound on them this is what these are for i'm not gonna hurt myself or anything i could put it that's the design of for them you throw it do whatever you want on them so that's just another dumb thing at chevy i think they've gone a little overboard i don't know probably trying to sell some more trucks or but one thing i do know those guys conducting these tests and those shoots and different takes without pretty much being the same uh shoot uh the bottom line i don't know if they're corporate uh what is it they're the headboard directors know what these guys type of tests they be doing those frames and doing all these uh crazy dumb tests um that are really unrealistic if you take your time and get somebody to really take a closer look why why ford does what they do and chevy does what they do and uh ram do what they do um like you know those i could hound on them ford chevy ram don't matter these stupid little steps they put on here what are they good for really nothing they just look cool <coughs> so the moral of today's story is these guys doing these uh tests um, I don't think they're being very honest or doing just dumb, stupid tests that they've been doing. So, you know, for a long time, I was, you know, a big, huge Ford fan. And man, to be honest, shooting Chevy trucks and Duramaxes, man, they're beautiful trucks. Just the engineering that goes behind all of them. Um, everyone has their, their flaws, you know, shoot. They're building over, a, man, I don't know, over 100 trucks a day. You know, each general manufacturer, you know, whether it be in Ram, um, Ford and um, shoot brain fart um, Ram Ford and Chevy um, man they each have you know two three four assembly plants so man everyone has their downfalls be at the end of the day they'll be sitting at my shop this amazing huge shop that I have here I have like 20,000 square feet uh, probably in inches but yeah I'll be sitting here that's a ram uh, need that one needs uh, bottom end work got a main or rod bearing missing have a little bit of blow by gonna do an engine rebuild on that one uh, I got a I got a 6.6 six right here LOI uh, we're doing some top top end work to it. Got a tutu down there taking out the doing manifold. And don't worry, Ford, they're not too far behind. I got one in the back and uh, another ram. Got to do both of them suspension and lift kits on them. So, um, one thing, they're awesome trucks, all of them. Uh, I just love Ford, Chevy, and Dodge. Um, I think they're amazing, These, especially, you know, me, I kind of stick with diesels. So it's just the engineering that goes behind them. It's just, it's unmatchable, unmatchable. Um, but anyways, that's just my insight. You know, I love them. They're all beautiful trucks, nice and beefy. They've come a long way. And um, I'll buy and ride any of them. Uh, you know, so many have uh, problems. One may have this, but man, when you're building just a massive amount of trucks, you know, something's bound to fail. You can't get just everything perfect. And a lot of things, like for example, me, 
here that keeps me busy is a lot of um, uh, maintenance. Maintenance people just don't do their oil changes, don't do their flushes, just little small things like that. That just tears your truck that they think you yeah, got just trucks that you ain't have to maintain them or something. But anyways, that's just my insight. Um, let me know what you guys think and opinions. So, anyways, see you guys later. Deuce.